So let's talk about Grave More Patch. Uh, where now we have invisibility on every class in the game. So this all started when everybody was saying, well, uh, I don't like playing the sword because the sword is not fun. You know, I don't like playing this, it's not fun. So they started introducing new classes to the game. You get a tanky warden, so basically a tank DPS class. And it took Major Menden from a uh, Templar, make the Templar much weaker, and give that Major Menden to a, a Warden. So now it took, you know, it took a couple, you know, patches and everything, and Templars are now back to, you know, their, their old broken stuff. Then we have, we have right now, we have a. Necro. Necro is the thing everybody run out. If you are, are a high level player, you run Necro and you just rely so much on Blastful and tankiness, you're trash. In my opinion, you are. You're terrible. You you don't know how to play. You suck. Because you know exactly what's going on and you're still playing the same thing. You're not rebelling. You're not telling them that, hey, Fix this shit. Stop nerfing other classes for me to pay money so I can get Necro. I don't even have a Necro because the Necro, I feel like Necro is dumb. The point I was trying to get at is the king of DPS for PvP is dead. All because Zenimax is trying to please a specific group of people. What I'm trying to get at is. The first time they did that, they did that to a Templar. They took that mending. And they gave that mending to uh to that warden. Now they took everything that make the Nightblade identity so great. And they spread it out to weapons and class skill lines. So let's start with what the first thing they did was you know the Nightblade great spec uh spectral bow. People are complaining that it was so strong that you need to put a resource management timer on it. So we did. They did. I said, you put a resource management timer on it. So now we can have free castle spectral. That was great. A lot of whiners over there and they complain about it. So then now they said, oh, we adding a new skill to the game. They copy spectral and put it on a sword. Now, Spectra is more of our ability that is on a sword and on a Nightblade. So basically, one of the Nightblade most fun skill execution that is really fun to use got nerfed to the ground because of whiners and complainers on PvP. Yes, they complain that Spectra was strong and need a resource cap. If you want a resource cap on it, put it there. Right? That was great. We had that. Now pe the people can still use Spectral, but now Sword can still use Spectral, but just in a knife form. I don't know how is that like unique. And then they took Ambush for another patch. I think it was uh, uh, was it elsewhere? Yeah. They put Ambush on dual wheeling just because they need some gap closer now. Even dual wheel is really strong. Dual wheel is one of the class that can, that have bleed, or get really good damage over time. Then you want to put a gap closer on it. So the gap closer on dual wheeling just ruined the game. You know, it's great. Now I need to swap to a weapon skill line and remove the identity from my night blade. You know because dual wheel is the new thing which I'm not gonna fucking do because it's dumb my they the class slowly losing its identity so we turn they turn again and give almost every class fear fear was something that when you fight a knight but you know they're about to use it and you should be counter ready to counter now everybody can use it so that means you can never let your guard down any class you fight in because you know they probably have that fear on that bar. The fear they put it into the 
Fighters Guild tree, which I find really dumb. That I had now every class have a fear. Imagine a Necro running a fear, right? A Necro casts his blast phone, and no um, cast fear. Basically, glass phone hit you for crit for 10k almost all the time, and then it starts dizzying you. You can, and this fight is over. When they start to dizzy, dizzy swing you, why Blast won't hit you? All Blast won't have to do is hit you once, and it's 10k. The next 10k is from dizzy. It, even if you survive that, you're so low that they can cast another Blast Bone and instantly melt you. Even if you get away from them, because the Blast Bone is going to teleport to them. Then, next, this patch, they're bringing invisibility to the table. Tell me there's not, there's nothing there that line up well. What do you, uh, so in this, we have a bunch of classes that just get in a copy of what make the, the true DPS king or DPS. Basically, it's the night player they're taking every skill from. And adding it to other classes. Then you call it build diversity. You. Anyways. Build diversity my ass. Unique class identity my ass. Because I think that's dumb. That it taking everything that make a night play great. And giving it to. And giving it to uh, other classes. Now, if I'm fighting a Templar, he jabby jabby me. I gotta worry about him fear him. Man. I'm already worried about his power of light on my head. I gotta worry about him fearing me. Then now, I gotta worry about a Necro and his Blast Bone after he drop his fear. That's great. That's exciting to watch because you see them. They're already bulky as it is with crazy type of resistance. They can just fear me, blast bone, dizzy. Even if I manage to survive that, another blast bone, it teleport no matter where I'm at, and still hit me. And blast bone does major defile. That's what it reduces your healing. So survivability that is not gonna happen if it reduces my healing. Basically, I'm running glass cannon. And people are like, why did you run heavy armor? Fuck heavy armor. I don't like heavy armor. I like more speedy build. I'm still going to play this new patch. This new DLC coming up. Because it's more glass cannon and damage. But I want to see how it is. I just want to see how it is. This... So far, how this been going is people been adding, Zenimax been adding so much to other things that remove the identity for what make classes great. See that sword over there? That sword can shriek constantly and keep stunning me without any other, without any penalty. That means I will constantly keep getting stunned by a sword. Without any penalty at all. That's how it is. Which I find really annoying because if there's no penalty to them shrieking, why are we why are Nightblade taking all the you know the damage? Look at that guy, that guy's so tanky, he doesn't even know what he's doing. Look at that. <laughs> Just saying, this this game have devolved over the past six years. From what make it what make it unique to catering to a specific group of people, whiny brat or whiny community, and it just make me like don't even want. I don't even feel like PVP if I'm gonna be encountering if I'm not gonna be able to tell what a class really is, you know. But. That's enough of my whining too, like I'm doing right now. But I'm done. I just want to just say what's on my mind about this game and what it it have devolved into. What make it not 
fun anymore because you cannot tell class identity. Anyways, see you guys.